222 with Swing Traders Anonymous. It's 8.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. We're one hour past the daily close on the East Coast here. That happened at 7.08 p.m. If you're new to the channel, what I do here is we cover the total crypto market cap, Bitcoin Tether, the Bitcoin dominance chart, the BITO, which is one of three Bitcoin ETFs now that one got approved. And we go over Tether, Ethereum, and we end with Bitcoin. As we know, we've had a little bit of a pump up in the market. We've completed a cup and handle that we have talked about. It was the lesser of two choices, but we talked about if we rounded back up, we could retest the drop point, which is at two trillion, which is what we've done, you know, what we're doing. Now what it looks like we're about to do, because it's gonna be tricky here to get out of this range. We're either gonna pull off like this and complete the top of this up at about two. What is that? Two zero between two zero two and two point zero four trillion is what we'd be looking at. But we could also be doing something like this, and then we pull down because the RSI is way, way up here on the total crypto market cap. So anything seventy and over is overbought. Thirty and under is oversold. Anywhere from thirty to seventy is neutral. But we're we're at about 68 right now. So we're we're in oversold territories for all intents and purposes. Between 30 and 70 is or 30 and yeah, 70 roughly, 30 and 69 is neutral, but the higher up you get and the lower you get, obviously you're pointing in one direction or the other. So we could come up and retest that yellow line, but this looks like we're gonna have to come down, guys. This this we're gonna have to eventually come down here and relieve the RSI because there's just too much strength. It's too high. The, the RSI is an, um, can be a leading or tailing indicator depending on how you look at it. But it can be a leading indicator to predict market turns. So right now it's telling us the market's going to come down because we're, we're way too overbought right now. So generally you want to buy when it's under 30 and you want to sell when it's 70 or higher. And we're literally right there at 70 and we've been way over 70. So this could be a hook down to where we start getting back into these more solid numbers around the 30 on the RSI. And that's going to bring us quite a ways down if this happens. And you'll know that's going to happen if we break through that red line, which is the 20-day uh, and the 4-hour time frame. Um, but that, we had a bullish divergence in and that's what crept us up here. But now, if you look at the 30-minute time frame... We're starting to come through these moving averages. So if this plays true, I know we bounce back up. But if this pulls back down, it's already showing us an early sign. If we stay on the bottom side, we come through right now the 50-day. But if the 20 moves back through the 50, that could be trouble. Because that could show that we're starting a bearish divergence now. And that's why I think with the RSI numbers especially, even in the 30-minute time frame, the RSI is getting up there. It's up to like 61 now. So we're starting to get overbought, guys. And we need to take serious consideration in that. Um... So today I'm going to focus on the total crypto market cap. I'm going to focus on, um, we'll see what Tether's doing. And then we got to go into Ethereum and Bitcoin. So 33.28 is the support for Tether. We're ranging right now. 33.67 resistance, 33.28 support. We do have it tailor-made right now to come up and hit a cup and handle. Up almost to 34.20 roughly. So let's watch that. RSI is looking pretty good. It's pretty low. It looks like it's ready to reverse back up. So unlike the total crypto market cap, Tether's down in like the 40 range right now. So that's not terrible. This is getting towards oversold areas. So pay attention to that. We've got Ethereum, which is at 31.28. Again, it looks like we're building a top and reversal. Ethereum in the 30 minute is getting up there again. It's over the yellow line, which is where it likes to meet. So that's, we're up at like about 61 on the RSI in the 30 minute. But when you look into the four hour time frame, we're way, we're getting way up there again. We were all the way up to 82. Nothing compared to XRP, which was at 97 yesterday, which is unheard of. It's way up there. We have 64, 64 on the RSI. So, I mean, it's hitting at a reversal here, guys. Coming up here in the short term, we might push 32, 79 briefly. Or even 34, we don't know. But it's showing that we're going to be starting a trend reversal here, very short term. And then Bitcoin, 41, 4, 139. Bitcoin's up at resistance. 
this was the least likely path that I thought we would take, but we did have a target if we went to the upside at 45.5. So it did hit that, but I am shocked that we came up here this quick. The RSI was off the charts for Bitcoin in the four hour yesterday. Even today, it's up over 88. It dropped down, but now it's pushing that 70 again. So this could be getting ruddy here, guys, to roll over. Bitcoin has a history here. The total crypto market cap, when it gets rejected here, it loses 35 to 40%. Historically, at least the last two times, it got rejected at these levels. So pay attention and be alert. Make sure to hit that like button.